So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is the Wolverine, which is a tier five American turreted TD. Um, Long-time viewers will know I love this tank. Um, haven't actually played it for quite a while, and that's mainly because I've been working quite hard to get better at the uh, T67. Oh, look at that <laughs> M8A1. Managed to turn himself over. So can we help him back up? yeah there we go right so a good deed done so we're on Kharkov which is the city map we don't see as often as you used to they've reduced the uh, rotation on Kharkov and Stalingrad because they just were such camp fests and corridor maps really hard for some of the other classes of tanks to play I'm platooned up with uh, Saboteur who's in the Crusader just up ahead um, so what I was saying about the uh, Wolverine, yes, the Wolverine I love, a fabulous tank. Um, I have an extremely good crew in this tank. I think they're on their third or fourth crew skills. Um, I have three marks of excellence, the only tank I've got three marks on. Um, and normally when you're in a TD, you play defensive, right? Well, not in this game, because you look at that map. If it's pretty clear, uh, all our tanks either went north or south. Nothing, <coughs> and I mean nothing covered the center at all and I realized this pretty quickly that I needed to do something to protect the center because you can see what happens is that our tanks coming up from the south have got bottled in by a few tanks that are around the corner there uh, in the north our tanks are likewise bottled in by the ones on the other side so I've hit that uh, there goes the toaster he's down I'm trying to take the pressure off saboteurs attack can't afford to have this 35 come round but he's down so that's good so I'm going to try and scoot round in the middle here and just try and flank some of these tanks because all the enemy tanks are likely to be looking north and south so in the same way as we haven't covered the middle um, neither are they in a way uh, even though they were coming through the middle they will turn north and south which means I can get around behind them and cause mayhem so guns out the game at this stage take down the T25 now it's the KV needs to be taken because he's a bigger threat, big tank, big armor, but not from the side. So one more hit, he'll be gone. He's dead. Oh, he set him on fire. That's great. There's a pair of Chinookai uh, Japanese mediums have very accurate guns. What's this guy doing? Shoot him in the back of the turret. Another fire, but he's had an automatic clearly on that automatic fire extinguisher. Took him down. So we've gone full on beast mode. Whoa, so much so I decided to almost turn him over. Um, it's 9 plays 5, I've done 600 damage but got 4 kills. Our T-34's team killed, so that's not so good. Right, I want to get rid of this last Japanese thing. Bounce the first shot, but he misses a wild shot on me, so he's down. Right, do I go north or do south? There's two tanks on the, on the Stug, so I'm going to leave him B. I'm going to focus on these heavies up around here. It's Churchill and it's just you know just sometimes you just get the feel that you can just be a bully and I felt that in this I you know I'm in a lightweight TD okay it's got a very nice 76 millimeter gun but I just felt I could own anything first shot was a bit of a waste fired into the uh, I thought he was I thought he was um, reversed to me but he wasn't he was actually forward on facing me um, so my first shot I faint, fired just to sort of in, at the engine deck hoping I'd take it out and I didn't <laughs> it was actually its frontal armor which is pretty strong on a uh, Cromwell oh, sorry Churchill really the place to hit a Churchill is actually around the gun mantle bizarrely uh, has very very little armor around the gun itself uh, but I changed the premium and that was the easiest way to win it so weird game weird weird game so I finished up with a first class mastery, um, bruiser, arsonist, fire for effect, and top gun. Oh, I hadn't even noticed I got top gun until then. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, 1,058 damage, 6 kills, 829 base XP. Saboteur had a pretty reasonable game. He's only grinding through this Crusader. Um, so he'll be gone as soon as he's finished, I think. Um, 14 shots fired, 13 of which hits, and 12 of them penned for that 13 for that uh, 1,000 damage. Most of it was up close and personal. That's really unusual in a lightweight t TD. Um, you know, I only did 173, so that's one shot at distance. The rest of them were all up close. 
uh, within 300 yards, 300 meters, sorry. Um, 25, uh, 24 and a half thousand credits after cost because we did use some premium, just gave me shy of 12,000 credits, would have been 3,800 with a non premium account. And 3,757 XP um, for the crew, which would have been 2,500 if I hadn't had a premium account. So slightly odd game, slightly well, more than slightly odd game. Um, you know, you don't often go full on, but sometimes you just have to go with the flow. And one of the things I think most people, uh, well, not a lot of people, get frustrated at times with TDs is that. Um, you know, sit back waiting for the kills to come to them all the time, and you've got to try and use the gun. The gun on a TD is probably the best in your tier uh, in terms of its penetration and or its damage, and so look for an opportunity to use it, particularly if you've got a little bit of mobility. Try and get into their faces, get round, uh, and don't just sit back and wait for the kills to come to you, and that's certainly what I try to do here. Okay, so another really good example of um, using a mobile TD. Now the, the T67, which is the tier, the other tier 5 turreted TD on the American line, is uh, a very much more mobile vehicle. Um, got really good top speed, very good concealment, reasonably punchy gun, but takes a while to aim. Um, and I have to say I've gone back to it very recently because when I first went through it I wasn't really keen on it at all, it was okay but I wasn't that excited by it and then I've been platooning a lot a lot with um, Jack, well, Shoot and Scoot from my clan and he is an absolute monster in the T67 and he inspired me to have another go with it and I've really enjoyed when I've come back to it so here we are we're on winter store, sorry windstorm um, it's the winter seam, it's a tier 7 game so it doesn't get any worse for this TD Tier 5, maximum we're going to see is a Tier 7, unless you screw up. Uh, so, oh, there's a Type uh, Type T34, first shot missed, second shot hit, third shot hit. And you can see, once this gun gets on a roll, it's really, really pokey. So that was a good start. We took a lot of health off that T30, uh, T34. Don't know why he was just sitting there, but he paid for it. Yeah, so it's, I'm bottom tier. I've come here just to support the guys in the city. And also, sometimes on this map, you get everyone going up the north, you get everybody coming through the south, and nothing covers the middle. So from this position, you've got a pretty good view of what's coming through the middle, and tr you can try and react to it. So miss that uh, Type 64. That's a pretty hard target to hit at speed. Uh, the KV-1 Sports chasing. Oh, and there's a Jag Panther. That's not so good. That's a shame. I had a perfect opportunity there, but I didn't pay any attention. Can we get a shot on him? Bounced off his side armour. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. There goes our, our KV-1 Sport. I haven't really done anything yet. I mean, I'm a firm believer when you're in a TD, you know, you need to set up the ambushes. You need to see how the game's panning out before you commit yourself, particularly when you're low tier, because although you are low tier, you've got a pretty good gun for, you know, which which means you can at least compete in these high tier games if you don't give your, give your life away. But the problem is you do not have the hit points or the armor. Um, so, you know, you don't want to risk it. So, I probably sat here a bit too long, so it's time to move. And I'm gonna come down off this hill, try not to throw myself off it, because that would look pretty stupid. Well, they could guarantee I would not be showing the video. Uh, so, it's whether to go and support my Rudy against their Rudy, or the um, I'll take on their Jag Panther. And I think the Jag Panthers. Ah, oh, I chose the Jag Panther because I thought he was harder. He'd need. Um, he'd be harder to take down. But as it turns out, both tanks got taken down at the same time. So now we can use this mobility. Oh, the RT just took out our Rudy, which is a pretty good shot in the city very good shot and you can see this thing whizzes around like you would not believe and we've got forward as fast as we can oh and there's an Excelsior sitting on the hill he's seen me put one shot into him and move oh 
There's an artillery there. Can we get a shot on the RT? No, but we will get assist for that, I would think. Still worried about that Excelsior. Where is he? Oh, there's a SU-152. Now, he would make a hell of a mess of my tank. But he's not looking at me. He's looking the other way. He's pulled back, so that's a shame. Another shot just for good measure. 700 damage. No kills that we know of so far. And this is where it gets a bit interesting because this map is, has a very defensible um, cap. So that by the enemy being condensed down into that sort of top area means they can hit the enemy tank, our tanks as they come through the south like they've just done there. At the same time they can deal with the stuff coming in the, uh, from the north. So yeah, it's not the easiest cap to assault. Trying to hit the SU, but no joy. Oh, there's Excelsior. Can we hit him? Oh, yes, we can. That was a bit of a lucky shot. I changed up to premium because I really didn't expect to uh, to take him out. So, it's 11 place 9. They've still got a, a Scorpion. They've still got an SU-152 and a VK-30H. But it's time to get your britches on and, be, and put your man trousers on and go for it. I've got a shovel a premium loaded because I want to make sure that when I hit this guy he goes down. There we go, he's down. So, only three enemy tanks left but we've only got five ourselves. Can I get up here? No I can't. I was hoping I could do that. So I'm going to do the next thing, I'm going to use the mobility, get round, come at them from a different angle. All our team, apart from the Hellcats now following me, they were all coming the other way. Can I get shot on him? No, he just pulled back in time, unfortunately. I'm being very, very careful because that SU can one-shot me clearly. The RT can one-shot me. The, the Scorpion can cause me real hell. I'm going to take out the RT first. He's dead. Right, Scorpion's busy with our friend down there. So we'll take him. And he's dead. Right. He rammed himself to death. So it's the SU left. Can we work our way around? It was a bit of a double bluff. I was hoping he was looking the other way. And he's not looking my way great. So I can put a couple of shots into him. He's really concerned. I can get around, use my speed. And, put, and he's just finished. He's on fire. There we go. He's dead. GG. Fun fun. So the thing is with the TD, especially when you're low tier and especially a tier 5 one, you can't you can't get into prolonged exchanges. You just do not have the hit points or the armor to do it. However, you do have a good gun and you do usually you can use a bit of mobility to, to get around the battlefield. So that's that's what I tried to do in this T67. Camped very early, sat there, worked what I could do to support the end support our attack through the city and also cover the middle. But then once you commit, you've really got to go for it, and that's what I tried to do. So we ended up with First Class Mastery, which is okay. A bruiser, Arsonist, Fire for Effect. Came out top on my team for base XP, 889. 1,659 damage and 3 kills. 22 shots fired, 15 hits, 14 pens for that 1,600 damage. Uh about a third of it was at long range so yeah spotted two enemy vehicles got 485 assistance damage as well 35,000 credits made didn't fire any premium uh, or did I no I don't think I did just shy of 30,000 credits profit if I hadn't been using a premium account still would have made over 18,000 uh, profit which is nice and 4,452 uh, experience with all the times twos and personal rows and everything else that I was running so very very nice indeed so there you go a couple of different games in a tier 5 light uh, tier 5 um, TD um, very different tanks the Wolverine and the T67 Wolverine's probably more of your um, campy um, yeah you've got to use the gun as well as you can it's got a really good gun fast firing very high uh, penetration for its tier um, whereas the 67's gun is not quite so good 
Um, certainly Zane Time is nowhere near as good, um, but it makes up for a lot of things in terms of its mobility. Um, but in either case, you've got to, you, once you, you can't just sit constantly back. You've got to, in my view anyway, with TD, there are phases and you have to play the game according to the game. And there are times when you sit back and, and you try and use your gun at range, you try and pick off enemy targets and so forth. But there is definitely a point in the game and you'll learn it as you go forward and you know, I'm still learning it, still miss it sometimes, but where you think, right, I've got to go for this, I've got to push. Because if you allow your heavies and all your medium tanks to get killed, then the enemy will find you and kill you, uh, no matter how stealthy and how um, good you are at finding a, a good TD spot. So, yeah, that's my, that's my lesson of the week. So endeth the lesson of the week. Uh, if you've got a TD, it doesn't mean you have to camp, is basically what I'm saying. Anyway, hope you enjoyed these games. If you did, please consider giving them a like and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Let me know in the comments below how do you like your TDs? How do you play them? Do you play really, really passive? Do you, you know, do do you get aggressive in them? And there are some tanks that are much easier to be aggressive in. The more assault gun type tanks, um, but then I don't really class them as TDs. They are assault guns. Um, and their job is pretty much to be up there in the front line because they've got seriously good armor, but they do not have mobility. But even in a even in a very lightweight TD, you can use mobility, in my view. So let me know what you think. Um, and enjoy games, have fun. Make sure you remember it's just a game. It's not for real. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you again soon. Gamer Dom signing out.